one, two, and three on GOG.com. Ooh, hello, Emmett. What's going on, son? Come here. I want to talk to you. Will you just give me a chance? Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Corleone. Sure it is. Maybe H equals the Hamiltonian operator. What did you just say? You heard I me. Said maybe H equals the Hamiltonian operator. Yeah. Great Scott! If H is a Hamiltonian, then H to the A multiplied by the inverse of H can only be the same as the expectation value for A. <laughs> That's it! That's the solution to Ivanov's conundrum, the problem I've been wrestling with in my head all week! I'm sure you would have figured it out by yourself in a day or two. The way you figured out how to build that rocket power drill. Where did you learn so much about science? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, it's like this. You know about I'm my rocket the power Falcon. drill. Then there can only be one explanation. What? You're from the patent office. I confess I didn't quite know what to expect when I sent the paperwork, but I never expected this. Welcome. I'm at your service. What can I do for you? Can I see your rocket power drill? Of course, of course. Naturally, it's just a scale model, but it's nearly operational. I can show it to you, say, first thing in the morning. Now nah, it's no good. I need to see a full-size model. <gasps> That's fully operational. <gasps> Tonight. <gasps> Otherwise, we'll have to award the patent to a competing inventor, uh, Dr. McCoy. It can't be done. I mean, it might be possible to construct a full-size working model in that time frame, but I haven't got the main ingredient for the fuel. I'll get it for you. What is it? 190 proof grain alcohol. And you know how difficult it is to get a hold of alcohol these days. Especially now that someone's blown up the speakeasy. And besides, there's no way I can get off work until I've delivered the subpoena. It's part of the investigation into the business affairs of Kid Tannen. Is it vitally important you see that rocket power drill today? Yes. Is it vitally important you deliver that subpoena today? Yes! Listen, I'll help you deliver it and I'll see to what you get the alcohol you need. <laughs> It'll help you get that drill finished by tonight. Deal? Deal. Here's the subpoena. All right. I've got a subpoena my grandpa. No. <gasps> it's Kid Tannen. Oh. Hey, I, I just saw him at the soup kitchen yelling at Arthur McFly. I'm not surprised. Arthur does the books for his business. What kind of business? That's what the DA is trying to find out. Let's go talk to him. No. Why not? Kid Tannen can tell us where Arthur's hiding. Yeah, well, he can also have us fitted for a Chicago overcoat. You know what? I don't care. I'm going to talk to him. What is he going to do? Change my future? <laughs> yes. That's what he'll do. What the hell, Matches? You, you got Kiwi all over my socks! Sorry, boss. Get out of here. They How about use you? Kiwi to shoe huh? shine? I'm sitting at a shoe shine booth. You walk up. Either you're here to shine my shoes, or you got a death wish. Which is it? I have a death wish. I'm looking for a guy named Arthur McFly. He's my, uh, sort of a relative. Well, he's my employee. He's very busy today. Since you're Arthur's boss, you know where he is, right? He's at the, uh, office. Where's the office? I forget. So when do you think Arthur will be leaving the office? When I tell him he can leave the office. Hey, you missed a spot. Isn't that Arthur McFly's hat you're holding? It was McFly's hat. Now, it's my peanut bowl. <laughs> I need it. Can I have some peanuts? Yes. Why not? I'm so a magnanimous kind of guy. I'm gonna Go steal ahead. it Knock from you. Out. Hey, kid. Yeah. What the hell is that? Done. Hey. <laughs> Jinx. What'd you do? Oh, bam! You lousy crook! Emmy!
Whoa! Football play there, son. And we're dead. Nope, we're alive. Nobody makes a monkey out of Kid Tannen! Ow! Fix me up! You learn how to move like that. Sandlot football. They used to call me the streak. Get out. All right. You know what? Let's head to the uh, the soup kitchen. It's a feeling that's where we need to be. Yes, a feeling. Sharp feeling. Oh wait. Oh, balls. Isn't it? Oh, did I pass it already? Oh, I'm a dummy. Do I need to talk to Emmett? I think so. This might be a stupid question, but couldn't you have designed your rocket-powered drill to run on fuel that, you know, isn't illegal? Illegal? What does law have to do with science? Science has its own laws. You of all people should know that. All right, we're going we'll to the get soup that kitchen. Delivered. My name isn't Michael Corleone. Michael Corleone. Yeah. To the soup kitchen, Michael. Don't touch me. All right, here's the soup kitchen. Inside, we're going in. Oh, look, Emmett follows us. A cue ball. What? The truck just arrived with a fresh shipment of, uh, soup. Soup soup? Well, uh, this is the regular soup, and this is the special soup. Hmm. Right. Special. How weird. That's strange. Hey, what are you doing? I'm spicing up the soup. It's my secret recipe. Listen, this ain't the Savoy, and we ain't here to feed these bozos no fancy soup. The boss has got a business to rebuild, so knock off the goofing and mind your post. All right, all right, just try the soup. Well? Ah, I can see why you want to keep this a secret. Is it good or bad? I mean... What? You didn't tell us! I want some soup! I had some soup for dinner tonight. Oh, what? What is he doing? What? Oh. What? <gasps> they have technology like that back then? Wow. Secret doors. And he brings in more barrels. Of special soup, quote unquote. All right. Let's talk to Emmett. Huddle up, Emmett. Huddle? Yes? Just listen up for a second. Any ideas about how to get the hooch? Hooch? The alcohol, Emmett. Ah, uh, one might come to the conclusion that the hooch is being hidden in some of those barrels. You're probably right, but which ones? Now, if I could get my hands on some of those barrels, I could weigh them and compare their specific gravity. Specific gravity? Come on, Emmett. Kids goons aren't going to let us do an experiment on their barrels. No, oh, I suppose you're right. We'll just have to ask the guy behind the counter. Why? Ask him if any of his barrels are filled with illegal moonshine? Get real here. Well, I imagined a modicum of subtlety would be used. Subtlety. Right. Yeah. Obviously, this kitchen isn't the speakeasy. Indeed. This must be some sort of front meant to cleverly and legally obfuscate the existence of a hidden establishment of ill repute. English? Perhaps in the basement. Right. That might explain the elevator. All right. We have to we'll try and that open the somehow. door here. I'll keep cogitating. Uh. 
Can't There's no open way it. I'm gonna keep that door open without some help. But my help is right here. Emmett. Yes? Emmett, I can't get into the door over there. Those tables are jamming it shut. The door? So your plan is to just waltz in there and take a barrel of alcohol? Uh, no. Uh, of course not. That would be stupid, right? I'll say. Still, I'd like to get that door open. I can't do anything from out here. Well, it's a simple matter of physics. A lever, some sort of stop. Let me see what I can come up with. All right. So we got him checking out the door. We have to talk to this guy over and over again until Emmett figures out a plan. So, cue ball, let's start talking. Excuse me. You talking to me? Yo, what? Can I have a bowl of soup? You're a soup kitchen. What do you think? Me? It's time to grab a drink. What kind of soup is this? It tastes like... Scrolle Ribolita? I was gonna say weak old cabbage. I was gonna say liquid Everyone's shit. Everyone's a critic. Look, all I got to work with is this two-bit soup in a barrel and spice rack that hadn't been restocked since the Coolidge administration. What do you think I should do to perk this slop up? Let's see. Have you tried... Maybe some salt? 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 What, do you think it's too bland? Too mild? I didn't put too much pepper in it, did I? I just think it could use a little more salt. No accounting for taste these days. There's not much we can do right now. Eureka! There we go. Yeah, okay. So if we move towards the door... Stop jumping. Pretty neat, Doc. <laughs> nope. I'm still not getting through here. But at least those tables are propped up now. Alright, I will... Wait. Okay, 